Welcome back to the Lee and Haley Show. What a beautiful day, and we are on the campus of something fantastic. Yes, we are here at the Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company here in Lexington, Kentucky. This place is absolutely amazing. And did you know, you may have heard of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Yeah. This is the only brewery and distillery on the Bourbon Trail. That's right, they make delicious beers and bourbons right here on the same location. What? Today, we are checking out their iconic, one of their iconic beers. You're There's, lying. I'm not lying, I'm telling you the truth. It is the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. You may have seen it in stores, and if you've never tried it, honey, you got to get your hands on it. It is a delicious beer that's finished in a bourbon Sounds barrel. Sounds delicious. It is. They better have an expert to figure this out. I believe I see him over there. All right, let's go. So how do brewers get a different taste? I mean, if the process is the same, why does beer taste different? Sure. So you always have a different, uh, different malt bill, different grist um, in every oh, recipe. The grist. The grist. The grist. The grist. The grist. So it's like grip and wrist. You remember together. when the grist on Christmas? Hold your hand out here. <laughs> this is a grist. If you grab someone's wrist, you grist. Thank you. Remember when the Grist stole Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember that joke 30 seconds ago. I, w I, 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 <laughs> I wish. If you ever get the chance to go on a brewery tour, do it. This room is the reason why I love these tours. It smells so good in here. It's like sweet, it's like bread, it's like I don't even know what it is. Brandon, what is that smell I'm smelling right now that smells so delicious? So, that's carbon dioxide. Oh, All <laughs> <wow. laughs> oh, jokes, all jokes. Oh, that's a fermentation byproduct. So you smell a little bit of yeast. It uh, smells so tiny, good. Tiny touch of carbon dioxide. It's like, yeah. Just like that little extra something. Yeah. But no, I, I, you know, I feel like anytime I go on a brewery or distillery tour, there's always that one room where it's like it hits you in the face yeah. that smell. And it is a little different smell, but something about it smells good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeast, honestly, is uh, one of my favorite smells. Also, after you mash in all that water and that barley mixed up, really good. And then this, I like this. This reminds me when I go to get like a tire, like a nail taken out of my tire and they hang this at Firestone. I know I'm up next, baby. And I'm oh, like, yeah. You're exactly. spreading a leak over here, Brandon. You Absolutely. Know that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, a, well, you've seen calm about it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Just a little bit of, of water and, and yeast. It'll be okay. Okay. That's the area we're also going to add our hops. So, hop pellets, those little green hop pellets you see around yeah. sometimes, I'm sure. Sure. Oh, we um, see them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere I go, there they are. I'm like, I, look at those hot pellets. <laughs> I was wasting this company money because I thought they were rat turds. <laughs> I'm just cleaning them <laughs> off. Get rid of this. Quality stuff. Last all thing. Out. <laughs> when, when do you do that? Do you work here? At night. At night. <laughs> all right, uh, so now we got hops. Absolutely. So we're going to add our hops. Do you got hops? No, oh, I got hops. Let's see it. You don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, OK. Oh, all right. There we uh, go. Please there be we careful. Go. Oh, please get ready be for careful. Lunch. Oh. Give me the countdown. Okay, Here we ready go. Ready when you are. What did I? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna jump or? Oh, that was. Oh. give you a sense of pride when you go into a bar or a tavern and you're just your local grocer and people are your using local what grocer and people are using <laughs> it your is product not grocer sure it is it's, it's groceries no it's, it's not grocer <laughs> what do you want to say grocer yes. no it's not. i want to say that because that's the word so that's what makes me want to okay. say okay so do you say groceries yes well i don't i say groceries <laughs> Why? Because that's what my grandmother said it was. Okay, well listen, fine. So when you get a big old glass of frozen water, what do you call that stuff? 
Aish. Aish? Yeah. And can I say something? You're the biggest Aish I've ever met. But again, my point was, it must be a sense of pride when you see people drinking your product. It absolutely is. Yeah. It absolutely is. Well, you should be. You should walk out with your chest puffed up and just swinging it left and right. <laughs> just look at me, what I can do. I made a <laughs> bourbon ale. <laughs> just... He's dying now. I hope you're happy. Sorry, but he died kill. happy. Look I'm at him. him. If I see you at a bar and Absolutely. I'm drinking one of these, but you come in with your chest out, swinging it around, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna pour my beer out. Yeah. Okay? So I, don't do what you I mean, I'm that. buying for the house. Are you? Yes. Look who we got. The brewer. <laughs> the brewmaster's right here. This guy did this. You yeah. can tell, because look at his chest. <laughs> Puffed out. So you've got to try a Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale for yourself. If you haven't already, we highly, highly recommend. Okay, stay with us. Morley and Haley coming up after the break. We are going to talk about the bourbon behind the beer. What makes it a bourbon barrel ale? You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. You're watching The Lee and Haley Show.